All right, so this video is for those of you who want to get to know one of the more nicer yet densely packed urban areas in Portland because in this video we are exploring the Knob Hill neighborhood in the Northwest District of Portland thanks to the request of Abby Kay. And if you have a request of a neighborhood you'd like to see me make a video about, feel free to reach out anytime or leave a comment down below. Before I show off this amazing part of Portland, I wanted to remind you that we'd love it if you reached out. Of course, if you're thinking of making a move here to the Portland area, my team is helping people just like you all the time move to the greater Portland area. And what's cool is that people reach out to us after seeing these videos and we just love it. I mean, it's why I'm out here every day making these videos for you because we love hearing from our viewers. And most of all, we love helping people buy their perfect home here in the Portland metro area. And hopefully this video helps play a role in that somehow. So whether you're moving in the near or distant future, save our info, it's right down below below this video in the description and in the comments, or you know what, just shoot us a text right now to get the conversation started. I'll wait. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's go. So we are going to take a look at some cool areas of Knob Hill starting right around here on between 23rd and 21st, slowly working our way to the north, moving as far as Quimby, which is that way. Uh, I consider this neighborhood to have a few different sub neighborhoods, and we're going to talk about each one of those in this video as well. Along the way, I'll highlight some awesome local businesses, some places to eat, play, work, shop, drink, and just enjoy yourself. We'll stop and take a look at some current and recently sold listings to give you an idea of how much it's going to cost to live in this area. We'll check out the greatest park in all of Portland and if you stick around till the end we'll end up at the most up and coming part of Portland so stay with me. First let's start off by cruising down 23rd a little bit. Well actually on my way up to 23rd I had to stop at 21st because there's a new location of my absolute favorite pizza ever so I had to stop in to get a slice and to show you a little bit of what the street looks like. Northwest 21st and 23rd both have a lot of amazing places to enjoy. So I talk a lot uh, on this channel about how Portland has multiple different neighborhoods with main streets with lots of stuff going on like shops and restaurants, cafes, streets like you know Divi Southeast Division, Alberta Street, right here in the Northwest. This is Northwest 23rd, and it has got to be one of the longest and mostly densely packed main drags in all of Portland. It really starts back on Burnside and goes all the way up to Vaughn, which is about one mile long of just shops and businesses and restaurants and bars just like this. It's really cool if you go either direction to the east or to the west. You got a mix of quiet and residential streets with high-end detached properties as well as affordable condo options going all the way down into the 200k range. There's really a lot going on with classic Portland staples like bamboo sushi is right across the street and good vegan spots, there's salt and straw ice cream, many other nice spots all over the place like this. The main neighborhoods within this area are the Alphabet District and the other newly up and coming neighborhood that I'm gonna show you at the end of this video is Slab Town. It used to be very industrial and it's super trendy with lots of residential buildings. Also, there are some adjacent, very high-end neighborhoods such as Hillside, Kings Heights, Willamette Heights, Forest Park to the north, the Pearl, and the rest of downtown Portland are also very close as well. All right, go check out a listing. All right, so this right here is an active listing that is currently on the market, just about a half block up from 23rd, which is right down there. It's a two bed, two bath, townhouse style condo right here in the heart of Northwest Portland. It's about 1,400 square feet and it is currently listed for 675. It's beautifully designed, super stylish, and even includes parking. It's the first time this home has actually been on the market since it was built in 2000. And I just wanna point something out about this particular listing though, because it has been on the market now for about two and a half months. And according to the MLS in this area, the average time on market for a listing is right around one month, which tells me that the market may be indicating that the price could be at least 
maybe slightly too high so as your agent looking to help you buy this property that kind of makes my ears perk up a little bit because it tells me that this could potentially be an opportunity for you to possibly get a better deal let's go check out some more awesome parts of this northwest portland area so yeah there's really a lot going on here so many cool little shops clothing shops boutique stores nice little restaurants super high-end restaurants cafes but you've also kind of got uh, all the grocery stores that you need as well so i'm right here on irving and if you go down to burnside you've got your fred meyer which is a pretty massive store then you've got trader joe's right over here right around the corner and then back that way about half a mile you've got new seasons which is kind of portland's version of whole foods i guess also another downside is if you can see behind me this this is still 23rd and there's a good amount of traffic so it can be kind of tricky to move around here you've got pretty much any kind of living options here whether you want to live in a condo you know kind of like this type of living behind me right here apartment life or if you want to live in detached single family homes there's a lot of those just you know one block in either direction there's a lot more of that to the west of 23rd some really cool spots right here this is harlow and it is i think it's like vegan you can get like rice bowls and stuff and you've got your tea house right here behind me and if you need to mail off some packages you got your fedex right here as we drive over to our next listing i did want to point out that parking can be tricky in this area as you can see lots of cars and unless you have a permit you will need to pay on most streets all right now let's take a look at this house right here behind me it's a little bit more in the direction of slab town to the north uh, which is what i'm going to show you next this home already sold so it's just meant to give you an idea of what your money can get you in this part of town this beautiful detached single family home sold just a little bit ago the sign's still in the ground july 1st for 1.1 million dollars it's a three bed two bath 1900 square feet it's about a block and a half from 23rd and it's a great example of a 1920s craftsman bungalow that was tastefully updated over time while maintaining its you know timeless charm it's very nice as you can see i'm just gonna walk around and show you what the neighborhood looks like it's also this is a perfect example of an opportunity where the buyers took advantage of their leverage after the home was sitting on the market a little bit too long at too high of a price of one million one hundred ninety five thousand and the new buyers were able to get the home for ninety five thousand off pretty cool these are the types of opportunities that my team and i are always looking out for our clients all right now to show off one of the coolest reasons for living in the northwest and that's the proximity to forest park you could hike all day if you wanted to in this park it's so big and the majority of of Northwest Portland is comprised of this park that is actually much more of a forest than what we think of as a park. All right, so check it out. This is Forest Park. This is the Lower McClay Trail, and this trail goes deep into Forest Park. I'm not gonna go on a big hike right now, but I mean, you can hike for miles and miles and miles if you go down this trail right here. It's very close to the city. We drove here in about three minutes from 23rd Avenue. This is definitely one of the advantages of living in Knob Hill area, Alphabet District, Slab Town. Any of these neighborhoods over here, uh, even Arlington Heights and the Forest Park neighborhood alone, this is certainly an advantage of that because you're just moments away from nature forest park is one of the biggest urban parks in the whole country so we're really lucky to have it right here in the middle of portland so now i keep talking about slab town and i'm really excited to show you slab town because you know it used to be not that great uh, in recent years and we talk about portland going downhill a lot during the pandemic but slab town is really one of those places that got a leg up and there was a lot of new construction condo buildings being built during that time and now it's just full of really cool places to live, cool places to hang out and eat. There's a new seasons right in the center of it. And let's go take a look right now. All right, so this is Slab Town. There is so much going on here. This is a very newly developed neighborhood. All of these 
are like mixed use buildings where you've got residential up top and then just tons of local businesses all around. There is so many cool places to eat. Right over there is the New Seasons. There's a furry, which is like a ramen place right here. This place up the street here is like a chicken place that is the most amazing chicken breast I've ever had. And then there's a 50 Licks ice cream right over here. And it's just a super, super walkable area. There's a brewery, lots of outdoor dining, as you can see. It's just a really nice place to walk around and have, have drinks, have food. So if you're interested in moving here to the area or anywhere else in the Portland metro area, don't forget to reach out to us to get you situated up here. And if you wanna keep looking at some other neighborhoods, I'd recommend checking out this video right here where I take you on another tour of another great part of Portland. Thanks for watching.